Hi guys, you are on varium24.com and today we are going to assemble Huawei Nova U72. First of all, we need to remove the card tray. To do this, we use a special tool, we insert it into the hole and carefully push the tray out. After that, we need to heat the surface of the back cover to a temperature of approximately 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degree Fahrenheit. For this we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. And after 5 to 7 minutes, we can move on to detaching the back cover. First we use a thin metal tool, we need to carefully pry the cover slightly from the edge, lift it to create a small gap in which we can insert a thin plastic tool or plastic film and then use the tool to detach the back cover. We have to be really careful with the metal tool so that we don't accidentally damage the cover or damage anything underneath the cover itself. So we carefully go over the edge with a plastic film cutting away the adhesive base. As always we need to be careful around the cameras so we don't accidentally damage the lenses. And it is quite important to note that when detaching the back cover on this model we need to be extremely careful exactly in the area of the camera cover. The camera cover comes as part of the back cover and the camera cover is very firmly glued to the cover that hides the motherboard. So we have to be careful, really careful, not to damage or deform the back cover itself, not to damage the camera lenses, not to damage any other part of the cameras when detaching the back cover. Because since the adhesive that is located in the camera area is located in very inconvenient places, glued firmly, it is extremely difficult to detach it, really extremely difficult. For a long time in our practice there were no such models which was very difficult to detach the back cover. The whole problem is that the adhesive is located in a very inconvenient place. So we finally managed to detach the back cover, please note where the adhesive is located. After that we move on to unscrewing the screws. For this we use a Phillips screwdriver 1.5 mm or Phillips hash 3 It is better to place the screws on a special surface in a certain order so that we don't confuse anything when we're assembling. If the screws don't come out well, we can use a magnetizer. If the screws get stuck, we can use tweezers. We also need to detach the bracket and we need to disconnect the fingerprint sensor connector on the motherboard. After that, we move on to unscrewing the screws on the bottom. Carefully unscrew the screws and place them separately from the previous ones. After removing the screws, we need to detach the middle cover. To do this, we should use a thin plastic film or a thin plastic tool. Insert the tool into the gap between the middle cover and the display frame near the card tray hole 
and carefully go along the edge, unclip a few clips, and then use a thicker tool. We need to be careful around the side buttons and the fingerprint sensor, so as not to accidentally damage them. We also need to be careful on the corners, because the core in these places is held firmly. And of course we need to be careful with the display edge, so that we don't accidentally break off a piece of the edge. Carefully go along the edge and unclip the clips, thus detaching the middle core. There is no need to hurry, no need to act forcefully, so as not to accidentally damage anything. And we can remove the middle core, carefully lift it up and turn it over. And as we can see, on the middle core we have contact pads and antenna transmission lines and fingerprint sensor, of course. Then we need to disconnect the battery connector with a non-metallic tool. In our case, it is tweezers with ceramic chips. After that, we can detach the speaker. Gently hook the edge, lift and remove the speaker at the bottom. After that, we can disconnect the interboard cable connector and the coaxial cable connector on the subboard. So we can try to detach the subboard. As always, we need to find the right place where we can gently pry, lift and remove the subboard. Also, we don't need to be in a hurry, nor do we need to force the support so that we don't accidentally break off a piece of the support, as our support is quite thin. So we take out the support. On the support we have the microphone, charging port and card connector. The vibration motor remains in the display frame. And now traditionally quick test of the microphone hole. The microphone hole is located in the display frame, it has an L shape. The microphone hole on the subboard is perpendicular to the microphone hole in the display frame. The microphone itself is located on the opposite side of the microphone hole. Accordingly, if we insert a tool into the microphone hole in the display frame, we simply cannot damage the microphone, but water can. So after that, we move on to disconnecting the interboard cable connector, the coaxial cable connector and the display cable. We can also detach the rear cameras. Gently hook the connectors and remove the cameras. The cameras are fixed in a special sockets on the motherboard. We can also detach the front camera. The front camera is glued to the display frame. And we can remove the motherboard. We find the right place where we can hook the motherboard so that we can lift it up and gently pull it out. And finally, we move on to detaching the battery. Traditionally, for Huawei models, we have three brown tabs, which unfortunately are easy to tear off. And on the tabs, there is a description in what order and what exactly we should pull. And therefore, before tearing off the tabs, it is better to read the description first. So we have pulled off the brown tabs as much as possible, so that they don't interfere with us. The tab that we have in the middle, we have to pull upwards. And we carefully remove the battery. Underneath the battery we have a transparent covering that protects the interboard cable. If you use any tools, as in our case, to leave the battery, you need to be really careful not to damage the battery cover. So this is the end of our disassembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the new video. Yeah,
Okay guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website. Take care of yourself and until the next video.